Hello everybody! Today's video is all about our new car we got. Um, and yeah, so we got a Honda Odyssey, a Touring. It's white, it's beautiful, and let us let me show you everything. Okay, so we are in the minivan. Now, I know some of you say I don't need to explain myself and why we got this van, but I am just because I feel like it just helps with the story of our lives. And you guys watch the story of our lives and this is how our thought processes went. So. We had the Ford Transit van. We loved it. It was a 12-seater. It was huge. The one thing that was the downfall of the Ford Transit van, it was like driving a huge four-wheeler truck. Um, so when you were driving, it was bumpy. It was not a smooth ride, and it was really hard to get through. Like, if you had to get fast food drive throughs um, it was a slower vehicle. Um, so, like, you know, to, to accelerate, it would take a longer time to get there. People would get kind of irritated with me if I wasn't going fast enough. I got flipped off a lot in, the, in that van. Um, it's just people see that van, uh, they go, oh gosh, this person's going to be slow. And they're, they, they want to get around me. So I'm constantly getting cut off. So that was one of the main reasons for me. Um, and it just... <sighs> We've been the family with this Ford Transit van, you know, this massive vehicle, and everyone's just like, or it's, we stand out a lot. And it, uh, that's one of the things, too, I didn't enjoy about it either. You know, we have a lot going on already, and then we have to have this major, huge bus. Because um, it was like the super tall one, too, where you could, you could stand up in. And I just didn't like that. I, you know, I love, I love attention you know, but it was just, I don't know. I just, I wanted to not have that attention. And I'm not saying that in a year or two, if this doesn't work out, we won't get another transit van, um, or like the Nissan transit vans, the passenger vans. Um, because I think when they get a little bit older, teenager years, we might need to do that. But my our other theory with this, sorry, I'm talking a lot in this video. We don't ever really go anywhere all together very often. Yes. We're going on a, a trip to Will's family in the Grand Canyon, but most of the time it's two to three kids, maybe four, um, two places. And we have two vehicles, so we're constantly separated if we're doing things. So we're, that was our other thought process too, is that we're not always in the van together, so we don't really need it. So especially now Will's home, um, it just, it made sense, if you know what I mean, to just uh, downsize our vehicle. All right, so let's get in to the gadgets. So I wanted to show you the car seat control. So there's, you see there's one and a two. It actually uh, is programmed to um, our specific seat, how we want them. So like I'm two, so it knows exactly how I want my seat. It comes in the car and it actually is controlled by the key fob, so it knows who I am and it comes like it, it'll recognize me when I'm coming close to the car and set my seat, which is I think is so handy dandy. So this button over here is for, um, let's say I'm in a drive through and we're dead stopped. I can hit that button and I can take my foot off the brake and gas without turning off the car um, or parking it. And then I could like turn around, reach something, help a kid kind of thing. Uh, I've never used it, but that's what that is. Another neat feature is that um, the same at a stoplight and we're sitting there for more than three seconds, the car will actually turn off. Not like the air or anything or the, you know, the systems, but it will do it for like gas mileage. So it will save energy and everything. So, and gas. So I think that's cool, right? Mm, I don't know. They say it's cool. <laughs> and then one more feature is that they have like where you're driving and then if you like go close to like the line it'll say oh no you're going in the line you need to scoot over uh which is neat safety love it there is this little gadget right here which i think is a fabulous invention it's a blind spot detector and so if someone's coming when i'm driving on my side it will light up so i know that i shouldn't switch lanes because someone's there and i will get in a car accident so I think that's very neat so here is our entertainment system it has the keyless start which I've never had before which is very cool um, we have navigation which we never had before which I think is so cool we have Sirius XM radio and my favorite part of this whole thing is like why we really wanted this was the rear entertainment system we have the DVD player right there it's so amazing love it so we have that it has the DVD player which is down here um, Another amazing feature, which I think is so amazing, is the cabin watch. So, the cabin watch. It shows the back seat 
of the car when we're driving if there's like fighting or I can watch them if Will's driving or if Griffin you know because Griffin you know he chokes or um, it's just it's good for safety so that is so handy I'm so loving this feature and then like you have headphones and like you can like talk through the headphones if they were all in headphones which they're not because they can't but again so cool if your kids could do that I think oh there's so many features that I, I'm still learning that I don't I don't even know but I think that was a really cool feature so we do have a moon roof which I think is pretty pretty cool I don't think we'll ever really use it but you never know uh, I was driving down the road a few days ago and someone had a, I don't know if it was a minivan but they had a moonroof but they had their great Dane's head sticking out of the top of it and the lips were going and the ears were flying I could I was cracking up it was the funniest thing so that's a good reason for a moonroof for your big dog to put their head through it was really funny so here is the passenger seat um we have cup holders I like this Sorry, it's like a crumb right here or something um but you can put your phone here it's like a no it's like you like a no slip grip which I really really enjoy we have um, this huge let me see more storage storage here we put the DVDs here more cup holders so we have up here we have the mirror so we can watch the kids more of course we have um, for like an emergency what I think is really cool this is the moon roof whatever you sunroof thing control so let's go look at the back of the car so another amazing feature is that the doors open automatically which I think is just I can't it is, it's surreal so great um, so it has like the controls here so here's the camera so we can see the kids and then we have the DVD player and it said that if we had navigation going on it would actually have like something at the bottom to tell the kids okay you know when this gets here that's when we'll be there which I think is I think so neat um, and we have that for the air conditioning all the windows in the back have the shades for more shade which here it gets so hot the Sun is ridiculous I think that is a great feature for where we live I think we're gonna be using that a lot we have cup holders down here and on this side but I don't think we're drinking and stuff too much in the car but water yeah okay so let me show you the backpack if we wanted to get to the back of the vehicle we just have to push this lever down and slide and then we can get to the back which is still pretty spacious we are still figuring out car seat situations um, we are closer than ever to figuring out for everyone being comfortable uh, there was some little challenges but we are very very close to figuring it out we have our wonder wagon in here see that can fit we did have to take the handlebar off to fit it when we were testing out luggage space so we could fit probably three big luggages here and that should be enough for everybody um, when we go on our vacation uh yeah so it's it's awesome i love that it's like you just touch it and it's done and all of course all the seats all lay flat so if we needed cargo space we have it you know if we were doing like um buying like i don't know a ladder or something <laughs> or some kind of project we could take all these seats and lay them flat but yeah so then there's the the button right here which you press and it goes down 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 so I hop back in the front one of my other favorite features is that there's seat warmers in the front hallelujah for when it's snowing it has snow mode for driving which they don't plow the roads here so you need this so that was one of the other reasons why we wanted to get a small view smaller vehicles that they don't plow the roads here and so our van is very it's big but light um, it would slide all over the place it was scary so I'm hoping that with the snow mode being lower to the ground that we will not slide over and slide and you know be everywhere that's the hope but I don't know um, this purchase we thought about for a long time this was not something we just willy-nilly talked about like we we discussed this sporadically for about a year and we've looked at many vehicles we didn't go look we you know we shopped online we looked at like you know the big SUVs that were like super expensive we looked at getting one of the other Nissan transit vans we actually were trying to go that route but there's none available um, and they don't have all the entertainment and, the, and it, they're still really high um, so we really we went with this and we really like Honda uh, I love the drive of a Honda I think they're just really great cars um, they're super safe and the drive feels fantastic it feels like you're driving like I don't know on a cloud it's super life especially when you compare the drive to the the Ford transit van to to this it's like night and day so 
I think that is all the features that I can remember. I know I'm probably missing about a thousand because the guy, when he was sitting with me, he was like, and it does this, 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 and I was like, okay, how do you turn it on? Like I couldn't figure out turn it on because it's press buttons. It doesn't have like a shifter and I'm used to the shifter because uh, our, our van and the car has a shifter. This is all buttons. I'm like, what do you mean you hit a button and get in reverse? Like it was just so weird. Um, but I, I figured it out <laughs> and nobody died and everything was good. But it's this is our most fanciest vehicle we've ever owned and we're gonna take good care of it. And I'm hoping that it works out and we don't have to um, buy another big van in the next few years. But if we do, we do. It's, you know, life and you gotta take risks, right? And we're taking this risk and I'm hoping that it works. And then I did, did want to talk about the seating, the um, car seat situation. So I know you guys saw us experiment with Griffin's new vest. It's not working out. And why it's not working out is that, which is a shame, which I didn't, I didn't know. And I think it's, I thought I did enough research, but I think it depends on your child. Griffin has low muscle tone in his torso. So like anytime he sits on a couch or a chair, if he is not supported, this happens. Oh, and I thought because there's the little hooks in the back that it would give him that, but it's not enough. He still slips. So what was happening, we went on a few test drives with it to see if we could make it work. We were tightening it, we were moving him, we actually put a booster seat under him too. Um, it's just not enough support for him right now. So, which means is that he has to go back in the big car seat, which that means we're gonna have to figure out the strap situation because he is still attempting to get out of it and sometimes he is successful. That kid, I'm killing <laughs> He drives me crazy. Uh, so the thought is, we have not tried it yet, is Posey and Sawyer being in the vest. And the vests are so we can eliminate two car seats so everyone can feel more comfortable. We can fit six car seats in here, but it's very tight and it's hard to buckle everybody, if you know what I mean. And again, I will link these, these vests down below so you guys can look and see these are safe. This is just like a car seat. It's just um, made so their center of gravity is lower, the seat belt's lower, so it's safe. Um, and we're just trying to make everyone comfortable. Uh, I'm definitely, definitely disappointed that Griffin cannot use the vest. I don't know what we'll do in the future. I will be talking more to the therapists. I think um, maybe uh, the wheelchair company, maybe they have a solution because he's just getting bigger and at least one day he will not be able to have that kind of support. Uh, maybe we'll have to get a custom made car seat. I don't know. Let me tell you, having a special needs kid is so expensive. You have no idea. We have two and it's like we just fork out money for them all the time trying to find things that make their lives better or help them with therapy. Um, I mean, I'm not, I don't care. I just, it's amazing what, what we have to do for them and I, it's okay. It's just, it's shocking <laughs> a little, um, and it's okay. So yeah, <laughs> we love our new vehicle. It is, it's a game changer for us. And um, I hope you all like it too. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Please uh, like and subscribe, follow me on all my social media. And yeah, don't forget guys, you are wonderful. Bye. Bye.